presentation will be on Jamaica Kincaid. My name is Talani Thomas. This is World Literature 2. My professor's name is Dr. Sharonica Nelson. Kincaid's background. Elaine Porter Richardson, born in the island of Antigua. Kincaid was the oldest of four siblings. Born into a poverty-stricken household, Kincaid found herself close to her mother until her three siblings arrived. Once the oldest, Kincaid recalled being treated cruelly and feeling neglected. She told New York Times her drive to become a writer stemmed from her mother writing her life for her and then telling her about it. At the tender age of 16, Kincaid, who tested top of her class, was taken out of school once her youngest brother was born to help provide at home due to her stepfather being ill and no longer being able to provide for the family. At the age of 17, Kincaid's mother sent her away to work as a housekeeper in a wealthy suburb in New York City. Once arrived, Kincaid cut all contact from her family and refused to help out financially. Published book by Kincaid, At the Bottom of the River, published in 1983, Annie John, published in 1985, A Small Place, published in 1988, Lucy, published in 1990, My Garden Book, published in 1991, My Brother, published in 1997, and Mr. Porter, published in 2002. Summaries of Kincaid's book. At the Bottom of the River is a collection of 10 short stories. The stories focus on female relationships, particularly mother and daughter relationships. The stories are told from a perspective of a young Caribbean girl. Annie John is a book that details the growth and development of a young Caribbean girl. The book covers issues such as mother and daughter relationships racism, mental health, education, poverty, and much more. A Small Place is a book about Kincaid growing up in the island of Antigua. This is simply an autobiography of Kincaid's life, also speaking to social and cultural parts of her hometown. With continued summaries of Kincaid's books, Lucy is a novel that mimics a portion of Kincaid's life. The novel highlights a girl from the West Indies that moved to the United States to do housekeeping for a wealthy white family. If you recall earlier, I stated at the age of 17, Kincaid was sent by her mother to take over similar tasks. My Garden Book. Kincaid gathers all she loves about gardening and plants and passionately shares her experience through the book. My Brother is centered around Kincaid's brother, Devon Drew who passed of AIDS in 1996. The book is based on a life that ended too early. Mr. Porter is a story about an ordinary man and his life in Antigua. The story is based around a man that lives a simple life and doesn't know much outside of it. He passes the same town every day and the same gravesite where he is expected to be buried. The story is centered around some unfortunate events such as Mr. Porter struggle to live the, his life at ease, his mother committing suicide, and much more. Contributions. Kincaid was known as an important new voice in American fiction. Because of her poetic literary style, she was known for rhythm, imagery, and characterization, truly bringing her novels, short stories, and poems to life. Kincaid expresses portrayals of poverty-stricken relationships within the family household and her all-around experience as an Antigua native, which made her stories more personal to those listening. Kincaid received honorary degrees from numerous universities, such as Brandeis University, Westland University, University of West Indies, Tufts University, and much more. Contributions I personally gathered from Kincaid's life. When researching Kincaid, I was unable to find a wide range of contributions during her time outside of the short stories, essays, and novels she has written. It's clear she did a lot educationally, even with dropping out of Franconia College. 
what stuck out to me the most and what I feel may be one of her greatest contributions would be Kincaid's ability to tell the untold struggle of colored girls growing up, especially from the mother and daughter perspective. There's a lot that goes on in our households that we keep on the hush, whether it's the way our mothers may speak to us or how at a very young age we must develop that fight or flight sense to survive. Kincaid depicts that this perfectly. What she went through growing up is more common than most know. It just isn't spoken about. I believe a lot of young women, I believe a lot of women, young and old, would be able to resonate with quite a few of Kincaid's pieces of work. Last but not least is the work cited, which are articles and websites and books that I use to gather um, information about Kincaid. Thank you so much for listening.